we are back in the shop today for Talking Mods. And what I have behind me is the brand new 2022 BMW X3M. Now this is a competition model, so they've done a lot of different changes. There's um, what they call the facelift, you've got a new rear, you got the new uh, tail lights. Um, it looks pretty amazing, but the number one thing about this, it's the power. Zero to 60 on this is 3.3 seconds, so I'm kind of excited to go for a drive on this. Um, great vehicle, but we've already started doing modifications, so I'll talk about that. On this particular vehicle, we've got you know 503 horsepower. It's been up to 478 torque. Pretty insane, and I gotta say, BMW has hit it out of the park again with the colors. Again, unique colors. What do you guys think? I mean, put a comment below, but again, this is a Brooklyn gray. I think it looks great. Now, what's interesting about this, they come now with a 21 inch wheels. You know, how do I feel about that? I don't have any problem with a 21 inch wheel. I just don't like that a lot of tire manufacturers don't make 21 inch tires and those who do are aware of that so they charge you a premium for it. So anyway, I'll give you guys my impression once I drive it, but it's interesting. What we've done here though, he hasn't changed his wheels. The wheels look great, but he's put on 20 mil, we've put on 20 mil spacers on the rear and 20 mil spacers on the front. We're going to put a MSS Springs, which we've just add, we're adding actually at the moment to the Mod Bargains website. Um, not that brand new of a company. They're from the Netherlands. They make a dual progressive. Um, a lot of people are talking about them. They're kind of really becoming that really hot new spring in the marketplace. Um, and uh, I'll give you guys my impression. I'm kind of excited to check it out. It's kind of something you don't really you know see too often. And guys, before we go and do the, the drive, Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so and hit that like, it really helps us out. Ryan springs on so every time you change the ride height you should be getting an alignment so um, this is a in-ground alignment uh, very few of these actually um, around I obviously recommend it especially if you have a lowered vehicle um, you'll often see like with ramps you can actually end up hitting the center area especially when it goes over the ramp but when it's an in-ground alignment um, way easier far better especially on super low vehicles um, it's just a much better experience we use um, the Hawkeye Elite I think it's one of the one of the nicer systems out there. Um, it's made by Hunter. And uh, well, let's let it get it. Car just got aligned, so now let's go and drive it and check out these mods. So uh, we are now in the 2022 um, X3M competition. Now this is um, gonna be pretty fun. Um, we won't go driving crazy on it. Uh, we do have the permission from the owner, which is great. I do want to make a quick correction on the spacers that we put on there. Um, they are 12 millimeters, not 20. I think I said 20. They're 12 millimeters front and 12 millimeters rear. Now you could do a 15 millimeter, but it depends on if your car is lowered and how many people you're going to have in the vehicle. If you end up having a lot of people in the vehicle, um, that 15 will probably end up rubbing a bit. So especially when you hit like some crazy bumps, um, it will probably rub a little bit. So we recommend the 12. Um, again, it's only a three mil difference, very, very minor. Um, I'll stop later and we'll, we'll check out how, how flush it came out. But right now what I want to do is actually drive it, uh, feel this car and actually see how the modifications turned out with the MSS. One thing that's really nice about this uh, MSS kit 
is that it came with the bump stop so for the rear so it came up with new rear bump stops which is really nice um, and actually the lowest setting is two inches so two inches front two inches rear um, there's still some gap but again this is a SUV right so um, a little bit of a gap but um, you take the existing rear one you put it in the front so you're gonna have bump stops front and rear which is I think a really nice feature to have so um, M's are always going to be really fun. Uh, we are in track mode and we'll see how it responds and we'll actually try to take it up to a, uh, a nice windy road. So we're going to go into a more windy type of road here. I feel like it's going to be able to push this vehicle a little further um, in terms of suspension. Um, I can't, I'm not going to drive it too hard. It's still in break-in period. This has only got about 200 miles on the vehicle, but um, even though I have permission, uh, we'll still be driving it hard on the brakes and, and suspension-wise. Now, if you look, we're actually in some pretty good turns. So, and we're catching up to that car in, well, in no time. So... Now, funny enough, this is the X3M. It definitely sits a lot higher. Um, I've driven the X1 and the X2. I really like the X1 and the X2, especially the X1. It has this really nice 50-50 weight distribution. I will say the X3 has a little bit more of some floaty feeling going on there. I'm not so sure what its, what its weight ratio is exactly. And the suspension is, especially these bumps, right? It's, you know, with the curve, uh, the suspension is holding up really nice. Uh, there's no rubbing, uh, so we dialed it in perfect. And uh, this is a pretty fun car, 503 horsepower, but we'll let this crow pass. All right, let's go here. We'll... definitely a lot less floaty than when it was in stock mode and I if you own an X3M or you own an X3 even I really think putting on some springs or coilover system or this MSS kit is is really great I really like the bump system and it really takes advantage of the vehicle it makes it a lot more fun right so just got here all right So one of the questions that comes up is, what would I rate? You know, what would I rate it? I, I, I think uh, the quality of the springs are there. Um, it feels really nice. Um, I think, you know, obviously, it's dependent on every vehicle how it's designed and tuned. Um, in terms of tuning for this vehicle, I know that we went with the, the lowest it could go. For some reason, it's still a little bit floaty to me. So what it's telling me is that maybe sway bars would really benefit. Um, that's my honest opinion, but. The springs themselves, the shocks, they're very capable. I, I love it. Now again, everybody's different. I, the seats, they're giving me good feedback. Just a little bit floaty, right? Uh, that's where I think where sway bars would really um, kind of make it really complete in, in my personal thoughts. But do I like it? Yeah. Um, 503 horsepower, brand new BMW, X3M. I mean, I think this is a great value car. Um, if you have one, I think you should modify it. Um, I think you get a lot more advantage here, uh, enjoyment here. The tires, the 21 inch tires are very well capable. I believe they're continental tires, so um, they grip really nice. And uh, let's go check out how the fitment went. Well, that was a lot of fun. Um, let's check out that fitment first. That looks really, really good. I think it looks great. I mean, I know you could go maybe to 15, but I'd recommend the 12. I mean, I just drove it really hard. No issues, no rubbing. Um, and the fitment looks fantastic. So, uh, love this color. This is a great daily driver. I mean, this is not a normal. This is a beast of a daily driver. And uh, guys, please share this. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button. And... Uh, I will see you guys on the next Talking Mods.